Hello everyone. Welcome to my YouTube channel, Crack Economics and Statistics. This is Atman Shah. I teach economics at St. Xavier's College, Ahmedabad, India. In this video, I'm going to discuss how to check the normality of the data in our studio. You can also find our video on how to check the normality in SPSS. The link is on your screen. So in this video, I'm going to discuss two statistical tests. First is a Shapiroville test, which is used for the uh, smaller data set. And for the larger data set, we are going to use Kolmogorov Sminov test, which is also known as KS test. Kindly subscribe to our YouTube channel to find more videos on economics, statistics, SPSS, and R Studio. Let's begin with the Shapiro Wilk test. Here I have this variable x. Uh, we can use this read.csv command to import the data from Excel. So let me share my Excel sheet. This is the data set. First column shows the consumption expenditure in terms of dollar per day. And second column shows the gender. Here I have uh, 21 observations. So we have smaller data set and therefore we are going to use shapiro wilk test. So you can see in this R studio, I have used this read.csv command and the location or the path of the file. So you simply click run, write X. So this is the data, consumption expenditure and gender. You can use str command to know the structure of the data. So str and structure of X. So you can see first variable is consumption expenditure, which is quantitative. And therefore, integer is written here, int. Second variable is gender. CHR shows the characters. So here we have written male and female, and that is why this uh, uh, variable shows the characters. You can also use names to uh, find the variables. So here we have two variables, consumption expenditure, that is CE, and gender. Now, we want to know whether this consumption expenditure is normally distributed or not. If it is normally distributed, we can use parametric tests. And if it is not normally distributed, we can use non-parametric tests. So we use a Shapiro Wilk test. If you write a Shapiro, you can see this Shapiro.test command. So we have data set X. In this data set, we want to know the normal uh, distribution or whether the uh, consumption expenditure is normally distributed or not. So that is why we can write dollar C E and simply click on run or press control enter. So here you can see Shapiro Wilk normality test. Data is X dollar C E. So we are checking the normality for consumption expenditure data. Taste statistic is 0 0.96362 and associated p-value is 0.5919. Now, the null and alternative hypothesis for both the tests, the Shapiro-Wilk test and kolmogorov sminov test is same. The null hypothesis is data is normally distributed. And the alternative hypothesis is data is not normally distributed. So here this p-value is higher than 0 0.05. And therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we conclude that the consumption expenditure is normally distributed. And therefore, we can use parametric test to analyze the data. Now. Kolmogorov Sminov test is used when the when we have more than 100 observations. So for that, I'm generating variable y, which is randomly distributed 150 observations. So you can use this rnorm command. 150 means 
there are 150 randomly generated observations which are normally distributed. So if you simply uh, write Y, you can see these 150 observations in console. Right? Now we perform this Kolmogorov's mean of taste on this variable Y. We have this ks dot taste command. So you write y. That is the variable for which we want to check the normality, and we write p normal. So click on run. You can see the result of one sample Kolmogorov's mean of taste in console. Data is Y. D that is taste, uh, that is statistic is 0 0.062559. P value is 0 0.6. So this value is higher than 0 0.05. Therefore, we fail to reject the null hypothesis. And we conclude that this data is normally distributed. So this is how we can use these two statistical tests to know whether our data is normally distributed or not. It is very important to check the normality because the uh, test that we are going to use to analyze the data is based on the normality assumption. If our data is normally distributed, we are going to use parametric tests such as t-test, ANOVA, regression, uh, Calpiersons correlation coefficient and if our data is not normally distributed we are going to use the non-parametric test. If you find this video useful kindly like share and subscribe to our YouTube channel Crack Economics and Statistics. Thank you.